with it being the dead period in the NFL right now, fans cannot wait until week one gets here. And as we know, the biggest matchup of the entire week one is going to be between the San Francisco 49ers and the New York Jets. Now, obviously, a big point of emphasis is going to be about Aaron Rodgers. And obviously, with Aaron Rodgers missing OTAs, or not even OTAs, mandatory minicamp with the Jets, that's obviously got a lot of people talking and We'll probably transition into the training camp storyline heading into week one against the San Francisco 49ers. But it was Brees Hall, so when speaking to the media, had some good things to say, not only about the San Francisco 49ers and Christian McCaffrey and what Christian McCaffrey means to him as a fellow running back, but his former teammate, Brock Purdy, when they were at Iowa State together, he actually gives a piece of insight kind of into the competitive nature of Brock Purdy. And I think as 49er fans who have watched Brock Purdy play up until this point understand that that dude is competitive. But Brees Hall gives some insight into just how competitive Brock Purdy is. Take a listen to the New York Jets running back right here. Talk about the week one matchup on Monday Night Football against the San Francisco 49ers. You mentioned that the 49ers and McCaffrey maybe think about your cousin or your own Roger Craig? Yeah, cousin, yeah. How cool is that? What's the history there as far as you were the 49ers? Roger Craig was a legend there. He yeah. Live and you're opening up with him. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. Um, you know, I know he's going to be uh, talking stuff to me the, before the game and everything, even though he's I know he's going to be rooting for me and everything, so it's going to be cool. And uh, playing the 49ers, you know, Brock was my roommate in college and everything. And uh, McCaffrey, I was used to watch his highlights all the time. If you go, like, if you go on my YouTube and you look at Christian McCaffrey and, like, my history and everything, it'll show I watched, like, the first, like, 10 videos of, like, his highlights and everything. So uh, it's going to be cool going against Fred Warner. Um and then the, the defense they have over there, um, it's going to be a great challenge for me just to see where I stand, see where our offense is, and I think it's, it's going to be fun. Did you talk to Purdy after the schedule came out? No, nah, I haven't yet. I haven't yet. Uh, me and him are actually, like, overly competitive with each other. So, like, even in college when we play Madden and stuff, like, whoever won, like, we wouldn't talk to each other for the rest of the day. So, like, <laughs> that's, that's how it's going to be until after the game. So, yeah. Brees Hall was a dog coming out of Iowa State, and obviously he's had some injury issues in the NFL up until this point, but he has all the potential in the world to be one of the best backs in the NFL. He has really good size, and he moves really, really well. It's really cool to hear him talk about how he watches Christian McCaffrey, and obviously typically players watch other guys that they're trying to replicate and emulate their games after, so to hear Brees Hall talk about how much he watches Christian McCaffrey and and what that means to his game, I, I think that's pretty solid. But I love the part and what he really talks about with Brock Purdy. The fact that these two guys were roommates and the fact that they haven't even like texted each other yet or talked about it or like week, I guarantee you that was one of the first things that they they saw or thought of when they saw the, you know, the schedule come out, I, I guarantee you, Brock was like, oh, okay, Brees, it's on, baby. Uh, because apparently they couldn't even get through, you know, games on Madden uh, because they were so competitive that whoever won those games, they, they weren't talking to each other the rest of the day. Uh, but I think that also just speak, speaks to, the competitive nature of these athletes and that, you know, sometimes a, a video game can be a little too much because the guys want to win and they don't care that it's a video game. It, it doesn't matter what it is. They just want to win. And that's how you really are able to determine and measure the competitive nature in some of these guys. And when you're competing at the highest level, like these players are in the NFL, of course, you want to hear little things like that from your former roommate that Brock Purdy was just so dang competitive when it came to playing video games that, you know, these roommates wouldn't even end up speaking after um, these games were completed. <laughs> That's just how competitive in nature they were. I love to hear um, because I used to have very similar relationships with, uh, you know, my former roommates and teammates where we would just get so we would get so competitive at Madden that it was just <laughs> like, all right, I'm going to go this way. You go that way. I'll talk to you tomorrow, <laughs> but no, no feeling hard feelings either way. Um, 
And again, it's going to be cool for those guys to reunite on Monday Night Football. We know uh, Levi Stadium is going to be rocking. People are going to be so excited about this particular game. Obviously, with Aaron Rodgers' situation and how his, uh, you know, week one or entire season last year got cut short because of the injury. There's going to be so many eyes on this particular game. Uh, with it being week one, everyone is going to be tuned in. There's going to be crazy numbers and, and all that stuff. This is going to be one of the more hyped up games, uh, I would say, of the year. So we'll see how it all plays out. But cool to hear from Brees Hall and his former roommate, Brock Purdy. And uh, everything that they're expecting and looking forward to. What did you think about what Brees had to say? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.